now let us see this example design a more mission that takes set of all strings over 0 comma 1 so that means input alphabet sigma is equal to 0 comma 1 and produces a as the output if input ends with 1 0 so the output is a if the input ends with 1 0 or produces b as output if input ends with 1 1 1 1 otherwise the output is c so otherwise output is c so here what is the output alphabet output alphabet mainly contains uh, three letters a b c so delta is equal to a comma b comma c so now let us uh, uh, draw the uh, more emission we know that more emission is nothing but dfm only but here each state has some output so here uh, each string contains how many letters uh, two letters so what is the size of 10 or 11 2 so we require 2 plus 1 that is three states uh, first uh, let us draw the diagram for uh, let us draw the diagram for uh, 11 uh, so q naught yeah for space constraints uh, I am erasing this portion. So, output is A if the input ends with 1 0, output is B if the input ends with 1 1, C otherwise. Otherwise. So, here the if you take 1 0 or 1 1, here the string contains two letters. So, 2 plus 1, totally we require three states. So, Q0 is the starting state, whereas the remaining two, uh, uh, let us draw uh, in big circle. Why? Because more emission means we have to uh, specify the output within the circle only. Next to Q1, next to Q2, next to Q2. If input ends with 1, 1, then what is the output? B is the output. If input ends with 1, 1, then B is the output. Whereas if the input ends with 1, 0, then A is the output. So here we have 1. Let us take one more state here. Let the next state be Q4. Q4. So here, what is the transition? 1, 0. If the input ends with 1, 0, then what is the output? A is the output. Okay. Otherwise, the output is C. So output of Q0 is C. Output of Q1 is C. If the input ends with 1, 1, then the output is B. If the input ends with 1, 0, then the output is A. Otherwise, output is C. Uh, now, we have to make this as DFA. So, DFA means each state must use all the symbols present in the alphabet. Here, the input alphabet mainly contains two symbols, 0 and 1. So, we have to use those two symbols. Input alphabet symbols are 0, 1. Whereas output alphabet symbols are A, B, C. Here, before 1, 0 or before 1, 1, we can have any number of zeros. There is no problem. Here on Q0, 1 is applied. Now we have to apply 0 on Q0. So before 1, 1 or before 1, 0, we can have any number of zeros. There is no problem. If you take Q1, on Q1, 1 is applied as well as 0 is applied. Next, we have to apply 10 on Q2 as well as 10 on Q4. So, let us apply 0 on Q2 first, 0 on Q2. So, if we apply 0 on Q2, then where we can go here? Uh, here, 0 means 10. So, there is no, no use here. Yeah, here we have 10, 10. So, here, here we have 1. After that, if we have 0, then the output is A. So, 1, 0 means if the input ends with 1, 0, then the output is A. Okay. Here we have 1. So, if we have 0, then establish a connection like this. Suppose if the string is like this, 0, double 1, 0. So, 0 means we will be at Q0 only. So, 1 means we will go to the Q1. So, 1 means we will go to the Q1, Q2. Next to 0 means we will go to the Q4 output is a okay why because here the string is ending with 10 okay 
Next, we have to apply 1 on Q2. 1 on Q2. Here, 1, 1. Here, we can apply any number of 1s. There is no problem. Why? Because if the input ends with 1, 1, then the output is B only. Output is B only. So, we can apply the self-transition. There is no problem. So, on Q2, 0 is applied as well as 1 is applied. Now, we have to apply 0 and 1 on Q4. 0 and 1 on Q4. Uh, so, if we apply uh, 0, 1. Yeah, if we apply 1 here. If we, if, if we apply 1 here. After this 1, we can have another 1. So, that we will get uh, B as the output. So, we can make a connection like this. 1. Why? Because if the string is like this. 0, 1. 0, 1. 0, double 1. Here the string is ending with double 1. So, output should be B. So, 0 means we will be at Q0 only. So, 1 means we will move to the Q1. 0 means we will go to the Q4. So, 1 means Q4 to Q1. 1 means Q2. So, output is B. So, 1 is applied. Now, we have to apply 0. Now, we have to apply 0. 0 on Q4. So, 0 on Q4 means there is no other possibility. So, we can make a connection like this. So, after 0, we can have 1, 1. So, we will get B as the output. So, this is the uh, more emission in order to solve this problem. Now, let us check whether this uh, more emission is uh, correct or not. Let me have a string like this 0, 0, 1, 0. So, here the string is ending with 1, 0. So, it has to produce A as the output. Initially, we will be at uh, Q0 state. Q0 on 0 means we will be at Q0 only. Next, Q0 on 0 means we will be at Q0 only. Next, Q0 on 1 means we will go to the Q1. Next, Q1 on 0 means we will go to the Q4. So, what is the output of Q0? C, C, C. What is the output of Q1? C. What is the output of Q4? A. So, here we have 1, 0 pattern. It is ending with 1, 0. So, that is why here we are getting A as the output. Now, let us take one more string which ends with 1, 1. Which ends with 1, 1. Let me have a string like this. 0, 1, 0. 1, 0, 1, 1. So, here the string is ending with 1, 1. So, we have to produce B as the output. So, initially we have to start at Q0. So, Q0 on 0 means Q0 only. Q0 on 1 means Q1. Q1 on 0 means Q4. Next, Q4 on 1. Q4 on 1 means Q1. Next, Q1 on 0 means Q4. Next, Q4 on 1 means Q1. Next, Q1 on 1 means Q2. Here, the string is ending with Q2. What is the output here? Here, we are getting B as the output. Now, let us check the third scenario. The third scenario is, if the string does not end with, ends with 1, 0 or 1, 1, it has to produce C as the output. So, now let us take that scenario. Let me have a string like this, 0, 0, 1. Here, the string is not ending with 1, 0 or 1, 1. So, we have to produce C as the output. So, Q0 on 0 means Q0. Q0 on 0 means Q0. Q0 on 1 means Q1. So, we are getting C as the output. So, in this way, we can solve this problem.